Good morning, Campus Weather Service. Good morning. Is this Rob England? Yes, it is. Hello, this is Paul from WGRC filling in for Larry. How are you this morning? I am doing just fine. How are you doing? I'm well, thanks. If you hold on for just a minute, we will get you on the air, all right? All right, sounds good. Now, I know uh, Easter just passed, but it's never too early to start thinking about Christmas time. Now, let's talk some weather. This weather discussion this morning is sponsored by Chumley's, located on College Avenue next to the Allen Street Grill in State College. Happy hour starts after 5 on weeknights. Chumley's in State College. And speaking of State College, we have Rob England with us this morning from the Penn State Campus Weather Service. Rob, good morning. Good morning to you, too. Rob, have you gone out to try Chumley's? Excuse me? Have you gone out to try Chumley's? Uh, no, I haven't. I hear they have some really great people down there. I'm sure you'd get along with them quite well. <laughs> I'm sure I would. And listen, your last name's England, right? Does that make you British? Uh, no, I am not British. And God save the Queen, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. But uh, on a more serious note, our hearts and obviously our prayers go out to the young school children victims of that radical Islamist school bus driver who drove them off the Tower Bridge in London this morning. Really, really quite a tragedy. No, we're not expecting anything like that in central Pennsylvania this morning, are we, Rob? No, we are not. And what do you expect as we head into this afternoon? Uh, we should see uh, partly sunny skies today. High temperatures should uh, reach about into the uh, lower 60s, so it looks to be a very nice day. And how about as we head into the remainder of the week? Uh, Thursday and Friday should be uh, significantly uh, warmer, actually. Sunny skies sticking around with highs in the uh, lower 70s, but... Uh, Come the weekend, it looks like we have a uh, nor'easter moving up the coast, and that's going to bring some uh, very soaking rains along with it. Some soaking rains, huh? But you think for at least the near, the near term, the uh, positive vorticity infection will stay off to our south and east? Uh, yes, I think so, too. Now, I know a lot of folks are headed down to Penn State this Saturday for the blue and white game. You already mentioned nor the nor'easter. Do you expect any blue raindrops or white snowflakes coming down during the game? Oh, no. Temperatures will be in the uh, 60s, though, so that's certainly some good news. It's just going to be all rain, no wintry precipitation. But you would recommend perhaps bringing an umbrella if headed out? I would definitely recommend bringing an umbrella. Ah, uh, very good, very good. Well, listen, Rob, before I let you go, I uh, just wanted to mention I was watching Fox News the other day, and it seems that the scientists are beginning to contradict themselves. Uh, they say that we had our warmest march on record in the United States, but also we had the coldest march globally since 1999. Now, do you think this could be attributed to the potential jet stream oscillation? Why not? I'm not aware of uh, what was like the jet stream in the rest of the world, but I know uh, for the United States at least, the jet stream was way up into Canada. So that was, you know, giving us the significant warmth. But maybe since our jet stream was so high, it was lower, you know, in the other parts of the world. Absolutely. I guess if this really does prove anything, it's the global warming is definitely a hoax, right? And remember, Rob, come Election Day, vote Mormon, not Muslim. Well, listen, Rob, thank you for being with us this morning. It's always a pleasure. All right. Thanks for uh, having make, me. Yeah, no problem. Make it a good one, my friend. And remember, God save the queen, right? Right.